guys and welcome to Life on Wilden today. I've got a gangster's car behind me. What we have here is a CLA 220 AMG. This car does not come uh, from factory with an AMG, but it's, it's an exterior pack you can put on the car. Um, with that, you get, with the AMG pack, you get this hexagon grille, which I think brings out the, how beautiful the car is. I think this car is one of the best cars to look at. Mercedes has just nailed it with the exterior styling. I think the best feature of this car is the light. The, the both the front and the rear lights just look absolutely amazing. So obviously it had the AMG styling pack. CLA220 has a 2.2 liter engine. It's diesel and it produces 174 brake, brake horsepower and um, with it being a diesel, you know there's, there's bound to be tons of torque. The CLA also has a 7 speed dual clutch transmission which, uh, which are just, the, the shifts are extremely smooth and uh, this car tops out at about 140 miles per hour. Inside the um, Mercedes, we have uh, over to the right corner. We have the door controls as well as the rear child uh, window locks. Um, and then, if we move round, we have the uh, light switch, which is uh, we can be on uh, automatic, so it will turn on on its own. Um, and then there are some cool features with the AMG pack. And the next one is the pedals. Uh, these are not the usual pedals you get in a CLA. These are for these come with the AMG pack. The vents, I think, are uh, are engineered to a good standard because, um, as you can see, it's blowing air out. Uh, but one of the things you can do is, when you want to turn it off, all you have to do is twist it, and there's no more air blowing out of it. And I think that's just that's pretty cool. And it's uh, since it's a circular, uh, it's a circular shape. That means you can move it all the way around. You, you can't you do, if it was a rectangular shape, you could only do it up, up or down or left or right. Whereas this, you can point it uh, in any direction due to its. Uh, circular form. The steering wheel has the, with the AMG pack you also get a flat bottom steering wheel. You have all the uh, call and the, you have all the volume control and the call settings as well as a very useful um, voice control which actually works. This is the first car I've ever seen that it that it works this well in. Uh, the trip as well as the, um, the controls for the screen on the instrument cluster if it decides to focus. Um, another thing to mention here is that with the AMG pack you also get the uh, different background for the dials for both of them. Um, with the trip you got everything from um, speed to um, miles per gallon and acceleration it, uh, and uh, your range. These are all information you can get on the trip as well as um, it can also help with navigation and it, so it will help you guide rather than you having to stare at a big screen you can just um, look at your instrument cluster and see where you're going um, from the from this you can also turn off the uh, traction control and um, it is only accessible for the driver so you can't do it from the um, the center screen such a variety for customization that is it's you, you, can, you can tune it just the way you want it well, from stock you get a co-pilot system infotainment system but on this particular car has the command system uh, which gives you a bigger screen and a lot more options so some of the extra options are you can also customize the car uh, to a certain degree from the passenger seat or even um, using the center using the center screen or the command infotainment system um, this the, again there's so much things you can customize 
customizing a way to make this car specific to you. This, this infotainment system provides you with um, loads of information about the car, how well you drive and your fuel economy as well as um, everyday things like the telephone um, which, which can also be um, used from the steering wheel of course and then you have your uh, standard radio CD player uh, with the addition of the Bluetooth connectivity and the SD card. Also you get a, you get a decent uh, navigation system um, with the, with the co-pilot since the screen was so small, um, there was complaints about that the navigation was um, really hard to look at. Uh, whereas this one, you have no problem looking at this 7-inch uh, screen. Uh, and it's in high definition as well. The AMG also replaces the seats from the stock. So this seat, uh, this seats are way more sportier, so it has um, more lumbar support. Uh, which can be very useful for going, uh, keeping you in place when you're going around hard corners. See, the uh, the place to be in this car is the front. They have two beautiful, beautiful seats, and this, uh, as we, as we know, Mercedes is their famous interior, which is which just looks absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful place to be in. Um, we can see it's quite tight in here. Although these seats are relatively comfortable, um, they're going to be really hard for people that are quite tall. Uh, with the sloping roof, you can see that there is not much headroom. There's, uh, because the seats are caved in, uh, there is some leg room, which is uh, really good. But um, I feel very claustrophobic in here because of this leaning, uh, because of the sloping roof. It makes me feel that this car is not spacious enough. best thing about this car is its split personality. Uh, we're currently tooling along in the economical mode. I mean, you can barely hear the car now. It's, you know, it's, it's supremely comfortable. Oh.